Welcome to another Slack Tide bike ride. Today we're looking at one of the South's hidden gems, St. Simon's Island. Nestled along the Atlantic coast between Savannah and Jacksonville, St. Simon's along with Jekyll, Little St. Simon's, and Sea Island comprise Georgia's Golden Isles. St. Simon's is known for its beautiful sunrises and beaches, majestic live oak trees, excellent restaurants, and a plethora of outdoor activities, including golf, fishing, crabbing, and bike riding, to name a few. Today's Slack Tide bike ride will take us straight off the St. Simons Island Causeway onto Kingsway, down into the St. Simons Island Pier Village. As we get rolling to start our ride, you can see the St. Simons Island welcome sign just to our left. Just past the Yacht Club, Sea Island Road veers to the left. The world famous Sea Island Resort is just a few miles in that direction. The resort is renowned for its world class accommodations and golf courses, but visitors shouldn't forget about their fishing charters and shooting school. Sea Island Road also gives residents access to the north end of St. Simons Island, where you can find Golden Isles icons, Benny's Red Barn, and Frederica House, as well as Fort Frederica's historical site. If you enjoy the content of the Slack Tide Adventures channel, please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. As always, I appreciate you spending your time with me. ran into a bit of rain shower on the way here, so unfortunately we've got some water drops on the camera here and there. If you've ever visited St. Simons Island, you know that this drive down King's Way into the Pier Village is a beautiful drive underneath the oaks. left here will take you to the Island Club, home to Sea Island Retreat Golf Course designed by Davis Love III. As we approach the roundabout at Frederica Road, I just want to remind you that if you're biking around the island, pay special attention to motorists when you cross at roundabouts and designated crossing areas. Most of the people here gladly stop to let you cross, but there are always people on their phones and not paying attention. A left here on Frederica will take you to Southern Soul Barbecue and a little further down, Redfern Village. A right will bring you to Sea Island Seaside Golf Course. Just past Frederica on our left is the runway to McKinnon St. Simons Island Airport. St. Simons is a very biking friendly community. You'll see cyclists biking on the roads, but also on these multi-purpose paths that have been constructed with extra width to accommodate traffic in both directions, from walkers, joggers, and cyclists. So if you're coming down to the Golden Isles, bring your bicycles or rent some from the many companies who provide bikes to visitors on the island. As our ride under the oaks down King's Way comes to an end at Mallory Street, we'll pass Queen's Court Inn, a historic lodging near the village, and St. Simon's Beachwear on the corner of Mallory and King's Way. Just up Mallory Street on the left, you'll find CJ's Pizza, Georgia Sea Grill, and Mallory Street Cafe. We'll take a ride on Mallory and head into the Pier Village. Since the sites are a bit more compact, we'll slow the video down a bit after we get through the stoplight. Del Sur Artisan Eats, an Argentinian restaurant, sits on the corner of the Pier Village. If you're looking for some nightlife in the village, Rafters is what you're after. 
Iguana Seafood Restaurant touts its fried shrimp as shrimply the best. A little further down, you can satisfy your sweet tooth at St. Simon Sweets, purveyors of ice cream and locally made candies. Now serving only breakfast and lunch, Palmer's Village Cafe has some of the best food on the island. Try the biscuits and gravy, you won't be sorry. The Strother Company is touted as a hardware store, but it will have everything that you need to make your St. Simon's vacation a success, including fishing and crabbing supplies, beach chairs and towels, sunblock, and everything in between. The village is filled with plenty of stores to satisfy the most hardcore shopper. Southeast Adventure Outfitter sells outdoor clothing and supplies, as well as books excursions. Shops such as Island Republic, Nature Gifts, and St. Simon's Memories will carry your usual supply of t-shirts, hats, and souvenirs, while Go Fish, Miso Sweet, Ocean Motion, and Roberta's Clothing Store offers a more high-end selection. St. Simon's Bait and Tackle services visitors and locals alike. Mike can set you up with anything you might need for a day's outing on the pier to fish or crab. Generally, frozen shrimp is the bait of choice for pier fishermen. You can either purchase or rent rod and reels if you came to St. Simon's unprepared. At the end of the western side of the village, there's Zuzu's, which specializes in a vast array of burgers. My personal favorite is the 007 and hand-cut french fries. The St. Simon's Pier is a popular destination for both visitors as well as locals. Virtually any day of the year, the pier is crawling with fishermen. It offers exciting fishing opportunities nearly year-round. During the spring, large catches of whiting and black drum are reported. The summer months see people fishing 24 hours a day, chasing big sharks deep in the channel, and crabbers running crab pots with chicken necks. Activity on the pier really picks up in October and November, when the big bull red run occurs. During this time, the pier can be an exciting place, even if you don't have a rod in your hand. The pier is a popular spot for sun watchers as well. In the morning, the sunrise can light up the horizon to the east. In the evening, gawkers can be found gazing off its western end, watching the sun disappear over the city of Brunswick. As we depart the pier and journey down Mallory Street back towards King's Way, we see Brogan South straight ahead. Brogan's is a popular Saturday destination during the fall for Georgia Bulldog fans, and good luck finding a seat during Georgia Florida weekend. Barbara Jean's might be the most well-known restaurant in the St. Simon's Pier Village. Opened in 1998, it serves authentic Southern cooking with a relaxed atmosphere. If you're in town, check out their crab cakes on your visit. Palm Coast serves breakfast and lunch on one of its two outdoor patios. If you stop by for a meal, be sure to order a Bloody Mary or a fun day at the bar. If you're looking for a recommendation, try the down-home breakfast sandwich. As we conclude our slack tide bike ride of the St. Simon's Pier Village, I wanted to point out a few great restaurants just across the street. CJ's Pizza is a local pizza joint with its own funky vibe. Order a deep dish pepperoni with feta and Kalamata olives. It's the bomb. Georgia's Sea Grill might be the nicest restaurant on St. Simon's Island. Both the food and service are always top notch. Lastly, Frosty's Grill and Shake is a hamburger joint owned by the Southern Soul Guys. It'll bring you back with some good griddle eats after a long day on the beach. Thanks for watching this slack tide bike ride of the St. Simons Pier Village. If you enjoyed this video, please consider sharing with your friends and subscribing to the channel. Thanks again, and I hope you're able to find your own slack tide out there to enjoy.